Hey guys, I've been having a lot of problems with my uh, CBR F3 lately. The problem is, when I'm driving down the road, the battery dies, so the bike dies on me, and then I get stuck, and I have to recharge my battery. It's a fucking pain in the ass. I'm going to show you how to check your stator, see if you're getting um, enough power to charge the battery. It's raining, it's pouring, my fucking piece of shit bike doesn't charge. Okay, this is my CBR 600 F3. And I got it taken apart. There's the battery right there. Got it connected to my uh, battery charger. And there's the stator. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this wire right here. We're gonna tug on it. And we're gonna follow it up until we get to the clip. And there's three wires that come from the stator, okay? Four phases. And the other side of this wire right here connects to the regulator rectifier, which is right here. Now you get raw alternating current that comes through here, and this converts it to direct current, 15 to uh, 12 to 15 volts, which comes and charges your battery while the bike's running. Now, if the rectifier's not working or the stator's not working, your battery's gonna die and you're gonna get stranded and it's gonna suck. So I'm gonna show you right now how to check your stator. What we have right here is a digital multimeter. And if we look at the settings, if I get the light out of the way, this V right here has a straight line over it. Now that straight line means it's direct current voltage. Then you also have a V with a squiggly line over it. Now that means alternating current. So if we're checking the stator, it's gonna be alternating because that's the raw voltage that comes and goes to the rectifier and turns into direct. So we're going to set it to alternating and we're gonna turn it to the lowest setting, which is 200. We're gonna take these probes right here. Now, what we're doing is we're gonna check this wire clip. And we're gonna put one probe into one wire, and then we're gonna put another probe into another wire to complete the circuit. Now you need to check all three phases, all three combinations. So we're gonna start out with this one, and we're gonna turn on the bike. And it's only at 11, so... So, as you can see, it was supposed to be about 50 to 65 volts once I revved it up, and it was only at about 11, which means the stator is fucking fried. So, what we're going to do is we're going to take all the bolts that have this case on here, we're going to take them all off with a 8mm uh, socket and we're going to see what the stator looks like inside and see, uh, see if it looks fried. Alright, so we're going to take this bad boy off. Alright. Now, what you're looking for is you're looking for discoloration. Now, it's going to be a lot more drastic on most other stators, this stator has um, has coating around the wires, so when you look for discoloration, it's going to be less drastic on these stators. But as you can see over here, it's a lot lighter. When you go over this side, it's a lot darker, and that tells me that this co these coils on this side are completely fried. So. Um, there is going to be oil coming out in a lot. You want to make sure you get a bucket here. And um, when you do check this wire up here, you want to make sure it's plugged in. If you make the mistake of unplugging it, you're not going to get a read. And another tip is when you put this back on and you get your stator in there, watch, I'm barely going to apply pressure. It's so magnetic 
it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna suck it right back on. So don't get your fingers caught in there. And um, thank you for watching. Hope this helps you out if you had any uh, electrical problems involving your stator. And uh, take it easy, guys.